Professor Rowan. All right, no info needed. I am a Pokemon master. No, not that. Oh, that's right. Ugh. Freaking early DS games, I swear. Oh, you have to do the touchscreen bullcrap that no one wants to do. Luckily, it's kind of kept to a minimum and it's optional, but... Ugh. Touchscreen. Also, I'm going to be playing with my camera a little bit. Also, hi, little punny. How are you doing? Stay... Stay off the internet for a while. <laughs> Uh, well, we were a boy last time, so let's go girl this time. Sure, why not? What's my name? Why? It's the one and only... Oh, let's see. Select. What's my select button? That's the start. So I had to figure out my mapping. Is, is option select? It is. Interesting. Okay. The... Overlord. Because why not? I don't know. Am I am I important enough to have memes yet? I don't think so. So let's just stick with Overlord. Yes! It's my name enough. Damn straight, it's a fine name. His name. New name. Well, he's not a douche, so we can't be, like, mean. But he is, he is kind of crazy. So, I don't know. Unless someone wants to toss something out really quick in the chat. We're gonna go with in... In... Say... Say in E. Because we can't say insanity. It's too many, too many characters. Insane, is that your friend's name? Yes, he is insane. Very, very wild and crazy. Is it... A, a very energetic young little boy. Alright. Into the world of Pokemon. I'm having jelly beans to eat. Oh, geez. Thanks, Pokemon. Oh my gosh, yes, thank you, Randomizer, for having the super fast text speed. I forgot about that, that's amazing. Alright, Insanity. You are not charging me 10 million bucks. I, it's just not gonna happen. Pokemon B. No. Let me withdraw the potion! I don't think it happens in this game. Also, hello, it's a Wii. Let's see, did I mess up my buttons? Oh, I can't check yet. We're in a cutscene. Too many cutscenes, hashtag get to the point. Okay, so that's key on this bit. Oh, that's right, you have a different looking bag if you're a girl. Huh, well, what do you know? It's a regular, I'm sure we can hold infinite things. We just throw it all in the main part of the bag. It's a purse. It's a... It's just a portal to the dimension that, you know, when Kirby eats... Eats people, like in Smash Bros and in the Kirby games and stuff, it's the same dimension that, like, most purses give access to. It's actually quite amazing. Technology blows me away! All right, do I have to talk to Spaz first? Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm gonna see Professor Rowan. Aw, oh, jeez, I forgot something. All right, what do you forget? Spaz-tastic Spaz-maniac. Why am I calling him? It's because I called him Spaz in, in my Pokemon Star Platinum playthrough. Yes, you already said something about a million dollars. Whatever. Can I access your PC? Okay, we get it. Save your game. Be sure to save your game, little Timmy! You don't want to lose your progress now, do ya? The progress gremlins will come and take it away! Let me tell you something about those progress gremlins. They are mean. 
little, they're tiny and they know it and they think they can get away with it too. Oof. Big oof. All right. All right, here we go. Will we be able to beat the rival fight or will we be running a new seed already? Let's see. Uh, it's a Phoenix Wright thing. Professor likes playing his Phoenix Wright games. Alright. I'm gonna say yes. I think it'd be funny to say no, but at the same time I don't want to have to do all of this again, so I'm just gonna be like, yeah. Ooh, dang, this text box speed. Oh, it's so good. Also, Lucas! What? You're giving Pokemon away, but she's a girl! Alright, let's see what we have here. Wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> the rock Pokemon Regirock. I was like, a Turtwig? How boring. The happy... A uh, Blissey? Alright. Or a Shroomish. Well, let's see. If we take the Turtwig, this helps us, then our rival will take the Blissey. Because that he'll choose the, the opposite. And then Shroomish is just there. Well, uh, we have a Regirock, so yeah. We do get a Legendary here. <laughs> Perfect. Are we gonna fight right away? I think we, I think we will. Oh, this message speed is so nice. All right, let's see. Okay, so the Blissey could like have some very sick counter moves, but. I think defensively we're in a good. St Ooh, stomp and outrage. All right. Hold up. Wait, I can't. I want to check my stats. I can't check my stats. That sucks. Uh, will you stomp? Has a flinch chance. Okay, decently powerful. Aqua ring. Oh no. Well, the stats are randomized, so it might not be too bad. Normally, that means Blissey's gonna. Like, get a truckload of HP. Present? Oh, that's not very nice. But it's normal type! Boom! Countered, mofo! With our Regirock! Oh, what are we gonna... What are we gonna nickname our Regirock? I don't know. We could name him anything! Mist Ball! Oh, wait. That's a psychic type move, right? Yes. It's also a little cheater, but hey... I guess, I guess, present missed. Dang! <laughs> That's a lot of experience. Here we go. I wish I could have set all of the experience curves to low, but there wasn't an option for that on this generation of randomizers, so... This is what we're stuck with. Are we going to level up multiple times in this fight? <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh my goodness, that is great. Oops, I want to look at the stats. Dang, double level up, son. I am too swole to control. Saw ya. Mom making me a drink. Yay, running shoes right away. That is super nice. All right. So our Reggie Rock as our starter type has cute charm. 
which is completely worthless. Because despite Reggie Rock being a cutie patootie, it's considered genderless, so nothing will ever be attracted to it. <laughs> Which is so sad. It's just like me! <laughs> so, hmm, and in Stomp, 50 power. Okay, so Stomp's a little bit stronger than normal. And Outrage is about the same, but it's Dragon-type. Outrage got nerfed, but... You know, if we run into a dragon type, we have a good counter for it, so there's that. Alright, I think we got a pretty good Pokemon starting off. Although, either way, we would have been in a pretty good position, I think. Insane's house. Yay, running! You're too slow! Okay, we're supposed to go to the lake first, right? Yeah, right, it's like the lake, and then it's like, what's going on? And he's like, eh, I'm Batman. I mean, Cyrus. She's gonna brew. Step aside. Hey. Well. Might have only been going for a few minutes, but we haven't dropped any frames yet. Yeah, hey, that's surprisingly remarkable for my machine. Okay, um, hopefully we don't run into any Pokemon. Because I'd like to catch a Pokemon in this route. Never mind. JK. It's a Ladian? Okay, well. Free experience, I guess. Give it a stomp. Give it a stomp, stomp, stomp. Give it a stomp. And it has rough skin and flame wheel? Oh. <laughs> Critical hit. Long. Get stomped. Yeah, it's gonna take a long time to train out Mom because he's a legendary. Which is a shame. It really is. I was. Huh. Summary. What am I doing? I'm, I'm thinking. Hmm. Well, might as well talk to you, right? Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Trainer tips. Talk to people. Don't be shy. It's like, I don't want to talk to people. God, I hate it. Why? Oh, well, let's go over to that shopkeep. Get free. A Merc Row! Aww. I wanted a Merc Row. Merc Row, well, what can you do? Though, Murkrow would have evolved into something completely random, so... Oh, but it knows Fury Cutter. That could be big. Big if true. We could die to a Murkrow! Because Fury Cutter is so OP. I mean, we might just run from the Murkrow next time. Yay! Potions. If, if. Alright, another Ladian? We can take that. Crush it! Beneath your feet, Reggie Rock. Oh. Psycho Cut! Oh, crap. Oh, phew. It's like our special defense is pretty bad. I keep forgetting about Rough Skin. We are not friendly Pokemon to train against. That light is a shortcut. Sup, dork face.
Also, dude, you need to stop running into people. Uh, I want to heal my. I want to heal my Pokemon. I guess. Uh, I guess it's first time for a nickname. Also, I didn't make my Pokemon evolve because he can't evolve. He's a Reggie Rock. Be sweet if he could evolve into Reggie Gigas. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Hmm. Let's see. It's a good. It's a good Reggie Rock nickname here. Since I'm drinking my coffee and I like my coffee black and earthy, like Reggie Rock. Is you know rock, not ground, but Earth is rock, so we'll just call him Coffee. Oops, wrong. But there we go. O F F E E. Yes, I do like the nickname. Also, his name's Coffee, not Reggie Rock. Damn, beyond topic. Hi, I'm Rowan. Oh, dude, skipping through all of this text is so nice. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? All right, nerd face. Can y'all give me Pokeballs? Okay, can someone give me Pokeballs, please? I want to catch Pokemon. I want to play the game. Hmm, refrigerator. Our grand adventure awaits. How wonderful. Ooh, TM27. What does it actually teach us, though? Yeah, Poke Center. Important. We need to go there. The Mart. Give me Pokeballs. Yeah, I always forget how nice the music is in this game. I, it doesn't get a lot, I don't think it gets enough credit for as good as it is. Like, it's not nostalgic like the other ones, but you have some really good tunes. Alright, we healed up. Are you gonna give me stuff? Top floor, and he's like, it's a PC! That's so fancy. It is pretty fancy. Uh, mailbox, ball cap. Wait, so I guess we don't store items in the PC anymore. Ball capsules, though, that could be, that could be cool. Too bad you don't really get access to them till late in the game. It's like, Rowan, what's my Pokédex? He's like, you have two. You've literally done nothing. Wait, I've seen more than two. What the heck, game? Hmm. Can I get any more items? The quest for items continues. Oh, you're Overlord. Yes, I am. Oh, this must be Lucas's house. All right, what kind of porn does he look at? Ah, adventure menu porn. Interesting. Kind of hot, but you know, not for everyone. Yeah, all right, you can take a break. Wow, your Pokemon are so cool. Ooh, an item. A weepy bra- Oh, garbage items. Ah. Oh. Uh, I suppose I could just turn those off. Maybe next time I'll start turning them off because, ah, uh, spore. 100% accuracy spore. <gasps> oh yeah, oh yeah, that's that's pretty nice for a TM. And I'm pretty sure that's one that we can buy at whatever the big big money store is right now. Also, ow, I think my wisdom tooth is growing in again. Feel some pressure in my face. All right. Well, let's see. You know, what? we're gonna go to the lake to catch a Pokemon anyway. 
So let's go back and just buy some Pokeballs if we can. Wait, no, I think we, I swear we get Pokeballs somehow. So I'm, I'm flip-flopping. Call me a politician because I'm flip-flopping all the way. We're just going to go back. Be like, hey, Mom, I'm going for an adventure. And she'll be like, ah, oh, how nice for you. Uh, wrong, wrong Mom. Uh, thanks, Foster Mom. This is my house! Oh, I guess we didn't need to go to the Pokemon Center. Got a journal. Is my little insane here? Hmm, <laughs> Parcel. Parcel. Gotta deliver the package to Jubilife City. Alright, so we did not get any Pokeballs. I swear, like... Mmm... I don't know, maybe I'm thinking about Heart Gold Soul Silver. Like, I really thought something would give you... You know what? You're not even worth it, Lady Ying. Not gonna give us the XP we deserve. I really thought someone gave you Pokeballs around here. No, hey, you want this? Give me a Pokeball so I can do my job. Now, maybe, maybe we go into the next route and then the tutorial happens. I feel like I should remember this. Ah, yeah, here we go. A random Pokemon! Holy shit! Wow, a wild Rhyperior. Yeah, good luck with that, Jimchar. <laughs> you did not get its HP down. Also, give me those Pokeballs. I want them. Also, I've decided to boost the catch rate just a little bit and make things a little bit easier since it is a Nuzlocke anyway. It's like, why not? Um, um, wait, he gave me Pokeballs, right? I really need to pay attention, but you know. Yay, we got some Pokeballs. We're going to need more than that, though. Now, do we get the buy one, get one free or buy ten, get one free deal here? We're going to find out. Yay! And we get a Premier Ball as a bonus. Oh, we all, we just automatically start with a potion. Sweet. And then... I guess we'll take one Antidote and one Paralyze Heal. And we are broke. So relatable. We no longer have money. Alright. Let's go to, like... Lake Ver Ver Verificity. Lake V, as the cool kids say. Verity, that's what it was. We have our coffee. Now, what else can we catch here? Also, item? Nope, no item. So there's a lot of random snow around here. That's interesting. Oh, oh, Zaytu. 
Interesting. All right, well... I'm gonna try Pokeball because we might accidentally faint it, so... Hey, and we got it, cool. I have someone else for our team. And I'm pretty sure she'll level up faster too. Z2, the Mystic Pokemon, the Psychic Flying. Yes, so that's us nickname. We'll call her... oops. We'll call her H. I'm thinking... Based on... I don't know why Banjo-Kazooie's on the brain. Maybe because I've heard of the music recently. So we'll call her... Umba Wumba. After the character. And, well, I guess it's Banjo... Technically, it's Banjo Chewy! Also, an item, yes. A palm tray berry? What the F is that? And why is it garbage? Oh, it is garbage. The cycle of garbage items continues. There's just too many. Alright, well, she's timid, but she's capable of taking hits. We'll see about that. Oh, well, she has Leaf Guard, so if it's sunny out, she has a spell that protects her from... from status effects. That's kind of neat. Let's see... Yeah! Good defense and speed. Special attacks, we want... Holy shit. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that's a big boy gunk shot. We we do want special attacks instead of physical attacks, though. But we can definitely get some good training. Actually, I'm gonna swap that back. Because I don't know who we're gonna run into in Route 403 or whatever. Or 203. Do 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 Yeah, like the music definitely is underrated for this game. Even I kind of forget about it. It's like I shouldn't. I should save a playlist to my YouTube and play it. Cause it is really pleasant. But it's also like DS music, so the sound quality is not super great. You need, you need some, like, OC remixes to really get the most out of it. All right. All right. All right. Give me a wonderful Pokemon. The Corsola. All right, well, we're kind of rock heavy, but. All right. It'll do. We can't outrage, though. So we're just gonna have to stomp a bit. Getting lucky on those flinch hacks. No! A critical hit! I guess we're not getting a Corsa. Tragic. The last thing I need with my coffee in the morning. And the uh, Loudred, okay. Okay, well, we're gonna do just a little bit of power grinding because I haven't hacked in 999 Rare Candies yet, but I'll get around to that. And I'm just gonna switch to coffee because I don't know what this Loudred is packing. A bubble. F. F. Of course it knows Bubble. Well, I'm gonna stomp ya. Flinch? Rough skin? Oh, well, at least we got the flinch. Is the, are, I wonder if the extra effects are also randomized. Because if that's the case, then does that mean... 
Like, maybe Stomp has a 100% chance to flinch now, or something crazy insane like that. That would be pretty wild. It is a shame, I still feel for coffee. So cute and charming, but no one will ever love it. And that's just a darn shame. Alright, what are we... What are we looking at here? Summary... One? Ah, oh, we almost made it up a level. Well, we're one off, stupid Loudred. Alright, more Loudreds. Maybe Corsola was, like, the rare one. And that's actually a shame if that was the case. Alright. Surely we can 140... What? What? That's a 5% chance to miss! Come on, Humba Wumba. You can do better than that. Well, at least you can take a hit. And that Loudred... Loudred's out of the picture for a while. Because of the ultimate RNG... Frenzy plants. So yeah, we... Note to self, don't use coffee against Loudreds. Oh, right. I forgot contact moves, rough skin. Gosh, this is just a... Uh, this isn't a very pleasant place to train. I mean, I'll make a kick again and then go heal up. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Well, it's fine. I'll just heal up anyway. Hello! Ooh, 4 HP. Dang! That's some good experience, though. As complicated as this, we'll get Humble Wumba up to level, level 7. Just like coffee. There we go. All healed up and good to go. Thanks for waiting! You're welcome. I have no choice. I kind of wish we started with the bike. I wish that was a random... randomizer option. Hey, Owl Shapeshifter! How, how have you been? We're starting a new Nuzlocke here. Pokemon Platinum. And it's randomized. And we started with a legendary. <laughs> because when the game's like, hey, Reggie, also explode. Wow, well, we're gonna get some nice experience here at least. Yeah. Oh, wait. Actually, I don't care about that. Hacks drops. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I had a busy weekend. Uh, kind of sleepy, but. You know, I'm feeling good despite barely getting any sleep last night. Woke up, basically went and got groceries, so, you know, the frame's not as pretty for this as I wanted it to be. Kind of ran out of time, but it was good. I had a nice, nice healthy lunch, some some baked chicken, a little bit of barbecue sauce, and uh, rice and broccoli. So, there we go. And I'm ruining that with a bunch of jelly beans. Yeah. I mean, it is Monday, the day of being sleepy. What? It has shed skin? I, uh, what the? Oh man, this, this, this game's next level. The Exploud, who was about to die in one hit from poison, used Endure, tanks the hit, and then before poison hacks happened, he shed skin to get rid of the poison. That is crazy. <gasps> Double level up, yes! Bluster Purge, ooh, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're in the United States, then yeah, it's not it's not too crazy, especially because Easter, you know, wasn't too long ago, and I'm sure people have lots of leftover candy. Dude, not bad. Stabbed Luster Purge, 90 base power, 95 accuracy. For someone who has really good special attack anyway. Humba Wumba, there we go.
more explodes? Yes, please. All right, grinding might not be as bad as we think. Uh, oh, ooh, a crit. Humba Wumba. 100 experience. Yeah, not too shabby for a, a level four Pokemon. All right, let's go back, heal up, and then we'll go and make our way through some trainers here. All right, Loudred. Buster Purge. Only has 10 power points, but hey, it's not too shabby. <laughs> Water Pulse. Yes, very glad we have Humble Wumba out here instead of... Instead of coffee. I think those stats are pretty good. I don't know. It's all random. Yeah, that is kind of funny. Though they have completely different abilities and movesets, so... It's like there was a, a big... A big cultural divide between the Loudreds and the Explouds. Explouds being the crotchety old people, and the Loudreds being the young, hip people. And the young hit people are like, yeah, we're gonna have, like, Water Pulse and Frenzy Plan as our abilities. And the Explodes are like, we're gonna have more sensible abilities. It's interesting. It's like, it's a whole school. Yeah, the, the evolutions are randomized, too. We actually don't have any Pokemon that can evolve right now, but... Yeah, and they're completely divorced from each other, so... 5% chance and you miss with Luster Purge! Alright, well, he endured, but... Okay. Okay, I'm okay with that. Make a kick! Bird kick to the face! Eh, will we get a level up? I don't think so. It'll be, eh, decent. Still pretty good for early game grinding. Yeah, so... <laughs> oh, that's an awesome evolution. That's, that's the dream. That's what you hope for. It's like, well... I have, I have a Pokemon, and, you know, it's kind of like your Ice Punch! Oh, crap. And a crit! Oh, that's just garbage right there. Alright. Alright, Corsola. But yeah, it's like, oh, I have this kind of weak Pokemon, I spent a lot of time raising it, now it's gonna evolve, and then... It's like you work hard, and it pays off. And you get a Legendary for your troubles. That's pretty great. Let's see... All right, first trainer. Hopefully no one will die. But yeah, evolutions, movesets, trainer Pokemon, stats, abilities, items, held items, TMs, like all of that stuff has been randomized. And it's a Sharpedo, so I'm thinking we're gonna go with Gunk Shot. So I don't think Luster Purge is gonna do anything. Synchronize? Oh, bamboozled. That's actually pretty annoying. <laughs> alright, alright, randomizers, that's how you want to play. Gunk shot, you're dead. Get out of here, Sharpedo. Give me your experience. Yeah, Buizel's the one that evolves into Floatzel, right? Like, Floatzel was alright. I guess I just, like, water types because there's so many of them, and they're all, like, kind of the same. Water types are just kind of meh to me. Let's see. Well, we could use our one antidote. I don't want to do that. I... Uh, 23. I don't think Pokemon actually die from... Uh-oh. Well, might now. 
But I don't think they die from walking poison in this game. You know what? Let's switch over to some coffee. But yeah, lots of random stuff. Growl is actually kind of bad here. So we know our physical attacks. You can do it, coffee. Stomp the heck out of them. Oof, missed ball, oof. Another missed ball. Is special attack down, that's fine. It's going to endure. We weren't going to kill it anyway unless this is a crit. Which it's not. And then we stop. I can't endure multiple times in a row without taking a big risk, nerd. And we learned Bubble. So is Bubble a 125 base power OP attack? Oh my goodness, those are some great stats. I think we rolled a really good Reggie Gigas, or Reggie Rock. Ugh. One could only dream, right? Good old Reggie Gigas. The accuracy is something to be desired, but uh... That's a pretty strong bubble. What is with these randomizer seeds giving me crazy overpowered bubble attacks? A <laughs> hundred base power bubble. Five, six. It's like I don't really want to find out if poison kills your Pokemon in this game. In the world map. I'm pretty sure it does not. But... I don't want to find out right now. I want to wait till I have a Pokemon that I don't like very much, and then find out. Also, I wish this, the randomizer for this generation of games, turned on the run anywhere. But unfortunately, that wasn't an option. Alright, so this area seems to be, uh, bad for your starter area. So I'm just... It's like, I don't want to fight these, but they're worth so much. Like, you might as well. Alright. Yeah, it's like 78 experience, so even though it's a trash mob, it's, it's kind of worth. Pokemon earn experience. Have you ever played an RPG before? Or almost any game? I don't know. Yeah, I've been playing through Castlevania Symphony of the Night on here. Not Symphony of the Night. Uh, also, really? It's 95% accuracy. Why have you missed like seven of those already? Come on, Humba Wumba. Get your, get your wigwam magic up, up there. Or else, they'll, or else I'll do to you what they did to you in between Banjo-Tooie and Banjo-Nuts and Bones. <laughs> and no one wants to do what they did to you in Banjo-Nuts and Bones. Hey, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I might mix things up on Fridays and do a, a heart... What's the one? The Soma, Soma Cruise one. A Dawn of Sorrow something? Yeah, that's it. Castlevania. So I've been playing through the vanilla game, but there's a sweet, like, DSvania randomizer out there that I learned about that I really want to do just a randomized run-through of the game. So that could be fun and see how fast I can do it if we get some OP skills right away. Ah, Frickin' Shed Skin. Such hacks. Cloud, you're lucky. You're lucky you give so much experience. Mega kick! Mm. That one was kind of gross. Yes!
All right, time to switch out for our animated rock friend. Our Reggie Rock with cute charm, an ability that will never activate. Which is just so sad. Also, we're not fighting you with Reggie Rock. No, I'm not gonna take a frenzy plant to the face. All right, Logan. But they're pupitar. Well, I can't stomp it, but I can, you know, outrage it. Boom! Ooh, and a crit. Not too bad. Secret power comes in. Not very effective. Cause you suck. But I mean, don't beat yourself up about it too much, Pupitar. Logan. Go back to the X-Men universe, Logan. Oh. 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 Well, isn't this a swell item? We have our focus sash. Unfortunately, I think it gets consumed. Which is not great, but hey, we can survive a, let me guess, a one hit KO attack. Yeah. All right, um, who has more weaknesses? Sweet. Ghost, Dark, Electric, Ice. I think it's just Grass, Water, Fighting, Steel. Eh. Do they both have four weaknesses? That's, that's tough. I'll give it a coffee. Oh, he's a starter. So we have to do it. All right, nerd. You gonna fight me? You gonna fight me, punk? Oh. Oh yeah, that's right, this does a day-night cycle that we'll never witness because I stream at the same time. Actually, no, it might turn dark soon. Alright, Lucas. Oh yeah, it's the world's worst detective. How did you know? I'm a police thing! Like, uh, okay, weirdo. So, like, let me out myself. I mean, he has nice theme music, so there's that. <laughs> Working for the International Police sounds hard. Hmm. I suppose we should check out the trainer school. Alrighty. Dun 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 dun. After you, we have to do the clown thing too. Ah, Parachizu, little squirrel. I hope we get electric squirrel. That'd be great. Evolution and Pokemon. Pokemon and evolution. Maybe I should have done Pokemon Black and White. Alright, well we should... Oh, this is like, hey, you can't come in here yet. Like, okay, whatever, nerd. Also, what the shit? Like, can this guy really be doing that? Like, you can't block me. What if I wanted to go sit at the fountain? You can't just do that. That's... Where's... Where's... The police, Mr. Policeman. Also, yoink. Oh, power bell. Oh, we're finding some good stuff. Oh. Oh, well, if we wanted to EV train, which I don't think is going to be a problem right now. Alright. Is insane 
gonna battle us. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to give him that. It's a town map, but there's two of them. What a coincidence. Oh, no, no battle in the training house. We do fight against these two nerds, though. Let's go, punk face. I have an electrode! I would be worried about explosion, but, you know, randomizer, so... X attack, uh, that's not good. Maybe he's, like, super slow. And he'll flinch. Water spout. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Luckily, we got two attacks in before that happened, but... Yikes. Aftermath! Oh, jeez, I forgot about how many abilities there are in this game. Hey, we learned Lick! I love the Lick animation in this game, it's so funny. Let's check out what we're working with, though. Summary... Lick. Okay, all physical attacks. This is actually better. Sweet. 60 power, 100% accuracy, 30% chance to parahax. We can do the old paralyzed flinch combo with this and stomp. All right, Christine, with your Metagross. Oh, boy. I guess Lick is the only thing we can really do against it. <laughs> oh, well, there's a scary face. Mach Punch! Oh, Jesus, Bobesus, that was what? Six damage? Uh, yeah, about six damage. Alright. For the win, we're risking it. Potion! Oh, that's freaking cheating. Mach Punch. I knew something like that was gonna happen. Cause it knows Hacks Face Mach Punch, all right. So even if it... Dark Pulse? Well, screw you, Metagross. Oh boy. Oh, that's a heart attack. An hour in and I almost literally died on stream from a heart attack. Of a mock punch critical hit, leaving coffee at 1 HP. Now that would have been a hashtag livestream fails, right? Eh, eh, eh. Also, who are you? Do you. Okay, sure, whatever. Um, actually. Did those guys give me items or do I have to talk to them again? Okay, I had to talk to him again. I was like, wait a minute, there's a reason for doing that. Okay, well that's about it for trainer school. Thanks, education. And we're gonna heal up after that. You know we are. All right, let's find these clowns. What's up? I think the answers to all these questions are just yes. Oh crap, uh, a group. Um, I, I don't know what I agree to, but 
would be um Pyre. E M P I R E. I don't know why that looks weird. I don't know why that spelling looks weird. It just kind of does. The Empire Group. The leader is Overlord. Yes. Yes, it is. Very good. Very cool. Pokemon hold an item. Give me coupon three. All right. Here's an item. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. A cherry berry. Eh, decent stuff. We'll give it, uh, we'll let someone hold on to it. You know, it's better than a useless berry, but... Not by a whole lot. Alright, clown, I didn't even read that. But the answer is always yes. We can get a free pokey tack. Cute. Wait, did you just say Detective Pikachu? Oh, Poke Tech Detective. I don't know. In Detective Pikachu, does Pikachu have a Poke Tech? Because that'd be a crazy thing. Also, just instinctively trying to hit the. Hit the start button to uh, jump on. Hey, there we go. I can see what time it is. Jump on the old bicycle that we don't have. Hey, there's a step counter. There's a calculator. Okay. Ooh, it glows. There we go. We'll display our team right there with the Pokétech. That's a good use of of the bottom screen. Now everyone knows. Yeah, so if we go to if we go to the right, that's a rival fight. Uh so we want to avoid that till we get at least one more mon mod. One more mon mon. <gasps> we got a quick claw. Okay, well we don't have anyone that's super slow, but also, did it actually give me a quick call or did it give me something else? No, it actually did. Sweet! Giving me some some usable hold items. I appreciate that. Unlike Pokemon Red that barely had any hold items. Hmm. Okay. Dun 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 Hey, how's it going? Uh, exit. We are the Empire and we will never leave! Or, I'm the Empire and the Empire is me. Ah, I'm the President! When you get more- oh. So if you get more stuff, then... I'll probably get more Pokétech. The fantastic Pokétech company. Thanks, corporate Pokémon America. Corporations are your friends. No, they're they're not. They're they're really not. The girls' model is so cool. It's like, why isn't it just one model? You fools. There we go. There's the Monday yawn. No interviews. I'm too cool for that. Hmm. We probably can't go this way. It's great for fishing. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, nice. We got the old rod already. So what we could do is we could try to fish up a Pokemon right now. Ooh, protein. So cool. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna waste an old rod catch on that. I'd rather fish in areas that you normally can't catch Pokemon. Like, say, in the city. 
Let's see if we can fish here. Probably not, but... Hmm. Wait, here we go. Oh, darn it. Well... We'll keep that registered for now. Oh, that's right. We can't go this way. Never mind. Never mind. Some nerd is like, Yeah, you can't go this way. This is what you're doing. You need more gym badges, you fake Pokemon girl. Not even a real trainer if you don't have the IVs of the gym leader's seventh Pokemon memorized. Yeah. All right, well, let's see. Let's catch a Pokemon and then train against those fellows as we go up. There's a cave up there that we can at least catch a Pokemon in. And a fresh water. That's a, that's a pretty good healing item for this point in the game. Not too shabby. And not one I'll be afraid of using either. Nido King. Hmm... Oh, lick, maybe get a pair of hacks. Yes. Dragon Claw. Oh, darn it. Broke out. Was fully paralyzed, so now's our chance. Go, Pokeball! No, you didn't even shake, bruh. There's like nothing I can do to weaken you without accidentally killing you. So you need to get caught. All right. All right. I'll think of a. I'll think of a cool nickname for you. You just gotta get caught. There we go. There we go. Sweet. Now we have a Nido King. Another Pokemon that unfortunately can't evolve. But... <laughs> uh... Alright, the Drill Pokemon. I, I, got, I got this one, don't worry about it. It's a good nickname for you, just like I promised. I'm thinking, thinking between variants. There we go. King Swagger. All right, let's check out our Nido King. What do we have in store here? Oh, he's not part of this. Yeah, none of these are part of the Pokey decks because we don't have the national decks. That's interesting. Alright, uh, sure. Lightning Rod. Ooh! That's actually... That's actually fitting. I like that quite a bit, because he'll draw the attack to him and nullify it. Wow, King Swagger. You are... You're very good. You're slow. But that just means we can give you the Quick Claw. Great defensive capabilities as well. Strong attack. All right. Ooh, and a full repertoire of new moves. Let's see. Your attack's better than your special attack, though. And all of the... So, Dragon Claw, 95 with 100% accuracy. Signal Beam could be cool. Charge. All right. Well, we don't have any electric attacks. So, I'm thinking Octazuka with the chance to lower accuracy. King Swagger might be my favorite so far. That's pretty good. Oh, a golem. Oh, you could have a golem. Also, randomizer. Just throwing out all of these already evolved Pokemon at us. Like, I don't even know what to do with it at this point. Besides, so give them a big old, like, the drill pack. What, does he, like, create a, like, a beak out of stone or something? Alright. Q. 
heal my Pokemon. Sweet, light giving coffee. Ah, uh, it's so good, so nice. Bum bum ba da bum 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 ba dum ba da bum ba dum bum bum. All right, King Swagger, you have some training to do. And actually, if we run into a bunch of golems, then this should be pretty quick. A Typhlosion! Wow! We're getting lots of crazy Pokemon here. Alright. Uh, we'll, we'll use the Octazooka. Beat up pretty strong, but not that strong, because you... Oh. You have a lot of special defense. To, and Ingrain! Oh, man! He's gonna get his HP back. Because he is one with the Earth. Darn Druid Typhlosions. I hate it when they dual class. But Queen's, King Swagger has Swagger. Ooh, one level up from that, too. Very tanky, kind of kind of sad on the HP front. All things can... A double level up? Oh, oh, that's so good. Look at how tanky he is. He's so tanky. Long live the king. Long live the king. Oh, my goodness, it's a Fionn. Jeez, well, there's a legendary Pokemon. That one should register in the Pokédex, that's for sure. It's Psychic-type, right? Maybe we just use a Signal Beam. Pin Missile. Eh, that's nothing. Don't have anything on me. Alright, well, Signal Beam is kind of weird. Let's see how Dragon Claw does. Much better. Dang, this is like the fastest power grinding ever. All right, it's another Typhlosion. You know what, Dragon Claw might just be better than Octazooka against these guys. In fact, it most definitely is. Wow, okay. Uh, Dragon Claw it is. Well, we don't really have to worry about any dragon types, apparently. Holy crap! Those stats are so good! Oh, I think I think we're looking out here at the beginning. I think we have some solid starters for the lineup. We have our Fion, so yeah, I'm just gonna get King Swagger up to level 10. Also, I need to give you the qu Quick Claw. Because we're just shooting up that experience so quick. Look at that. That is so good. From an area where most Pokemon would probably only give you like 10 experience or something. And we're getting 70. I guess if we really wanted to, since he's super slow anyway, we could give King Swagger the uh, power belt just to get more of that defense. Ah, interesting, a Torkoal. Good old Rock Turtle. Actually, I think he's just Fire-type. But also, Yawn! Doesn't matter, he's dead. We avoided the sleep. Because there's no rest for the Wicked King Swagger. Four defense points on a level up! Holy shit! That is so good! Like... Like, there's so much goodness in the world. And it's all... It's all in Pokemon. Oops. Don't want to do that. 
I'm gonna take a speaking of goodness or badness in the world, just wanna check any sort of for business emails I may have received, uh, which I have not. Hmm. Very well, I probably won't get any. This is pretty much almost close of business for most sane, regular places. Alright, well, let's lead off with King Swagger. Beat up these clowns and then maybe find another overpowered Pokemon to add to our team. Also, I really like that they added the different, like, theme music to the different trainers when they're talking to you. It's so nice. Sarah. Sarah with your Electra Buzz? I have some bad news for you. See? Haha, <laughs> quick call. Your Electra Buzz is dead. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Well, we're tanky as fuck, so it doesn't matter. But also, uh, uh. See, it has a high chance to crit. But that'd be 12 to, I would say, between 12 and 14 damage. So, we'll just finish it off. Take that, Electra Buzz. What you get for hard countering King Swagger. Also, yes. Yes! Level up! Oh, this is going to be so nice. Alright, well, King Swagger's at about half HP, so... Switch up to coffee. Yeah, definitely needs more HP to be like an uber tank, but... I'll beat you with Magikarp! You don't have a Magikarp, Tyler. You have an Entei! Um... Um, I guess I'll lick it? Oh, secret power, okay. That's not too bad. Oh, it had a brick break. Um... Hmm... If I give that crit, it'll kill me. All right, Humble Wumba. What? Oh no. Entei has Shadow Tag. Or Arena. That's not good. Pair Hacks, maybe? Shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. It all comes down to whether or not this will kill the Entei. Because I can't out-heal... Well... Okay, that's a lie. I can use a fresh water. Which I'll do right now. So, Brick Break. Now we can see for sure how much a regular one does. Yeah, a crit will definitely kill us, but... Oh, we should've just licked instead of using the fresh water. Okay, good to know. Also, Entei has, like, Shadow Tag or something. Not good. Well, I got this Entei from my dad! Why doesn't it win? It's like, whatever. Alright, Humba Wumba, you're the only one who's not damaged a lot. Darn, and there's no item there. I was hoping there would be. Oh, there's another trainer, too. Mm. I don't know if I want to waste my time on trash mobs. So, I'm just gonna run away. Or... It's a Torkoal. Hmm. Now, let's see how Bubble does. Our 100 base power Bubble attack. Freaking ridiculous. Ooh. Not too shabby. Alright, fight me, punk. 
trouble me for a battle. It's only trouble if you're challenging. Otherwise, sure, I'll take free money. Aw, oh, it's a little Wismer. So cute and scared. It's about to be purged! Purged by ancient shaman magics. I am strong. I am so strong. Not only physically, but emotionally as well. Hashtag pure strength. Alright. Well, we can't go anywhere in here, but... An Everstone? Gross. That's lame. A slowpoke? Okay. I'll take a slowpoke. Uh, make a kick? Please don't kill it, Humble Wumba. Cool. That'll do. Slowpoke wants to be friends. Oh crap. Slowpoke will evolve eventually. We need to... We need to think of a nickname for it. It's like, we can't just nickname it and thinking it's gonna be a... a slowpoke all its life. But at the same time, most of its life, it'll probably be a slowpoke. Because it evolves at like... 36 or 38. Or we find a King's Rock, whichever comes first. So, in that case... Uh, that's supposed to be Derp and Stein, but there's not enough. Maybe we'll just call him Derpstein. I E N Derpstein! Yay! Let's see what we have for our hopefully OP Slowpoke. Pretty good HP already, we can tell that much. Oh, she's lonely. Derpy and lonely. But she's stubborn. Doesn't like to leave the house. No guard! Oh! Huh. That's interesting. Special attack, special defense. Rap, curse, sky attack. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. He doesn't, she doesn't actually fly up high in the sky. Also, rap, 100 base power. Holy crap. Holy cut, rap. That's pretty powerful. Alright. I don't think I have any items to give her. Yeah, Everstone, no thanks. We want to see what Derpstein evolves into. Maybe Dr. Derpstein. Alright, well, we have a Torkoal. I'm thinking we don't fight with you. The Ormans are all pretty beat up. We'll go to Humble Wumba. Oh yeah, that's right, that freaking yawn. Oh, we have Bubble. Bubble Biatch. Dum bum ba dum ba bum 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 ba da dum. All right. Derpstein or Derpstein. If you're talking about, you know, young Derpstein. 
Alright, so we're gonna... Mm, I wanna grind up Derpstein just a little bit. And we'll go... And we'll hack up our rival! Fight number two, the revenge. Except I won last time. So hopefully it's not a revenge. Hopefully it's a continued domination. All right, Derpstein. Oh, he's gonna charge up. But he doesn't know any electric attacks, so I'm fine with that. And I'm not even using a special attack. I'm using OP Rap. That, oh yeah. I mean, I suppose considering how defensive and hanky he is, that makes sense, but, uh, crap. I guess we'll use a... Oh! You know, signal beam. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Derpstein's just gonna swear at him, and then we're gonna switch out. Uh, it's to our own, King Swire. So what if I swagger? Switch it into obvious signal beam. Dork. And we're gonna own you with the Dragon Claw. Yes, Derpstein. Oh my, yes, fish. All right, burb, just gotta heal. That is the beginning. The beginning of all Nuzlocke's is a little bit of power grinding, but that's okay. Because this has been pretty wacky so far. It's only gonna get crazier. I guarantee it. Though it's fine, because we have King Swagger. All hail, King Swagger. The tanky AF king of swing. Oh, oh, hey. Not dropping any frames today, either. I wonder why. Even when I was playing Fire Red, I was dropping frames. Something must be up. Uh, another Nido King. All right. All right. King Swagger might grow to level 12. Octazooka! Accuracy drop? Aww! Oh, lame! Screw you, you fake king! Hmm. <laughs> Nasty plot. That'll go great with all of my zero special attacks. Oh, a Shellos. How interesting. More like go to Hellos. OP rap. Dang. Dragon Rage. Wait, what the? F no. No! Derpenstein! It knows fucking Dragon Rage. Oh my god! That is awful. That is just... That's just... In your dragon rage! That's guaranteed 40 damage. And at this rate in the game, that is some... Um, hashtag bullshit. But, you know... There is an option in the randomizer to turn it off, and I chose not to. Because what's the fun in, in that? What's the fun in making a completely safe randomizer seed? It's good for people that want it, but it's more entertaining for these shenanigans. Unfortunately, that means we need to take time out of our busy schedule to create hell. All right. Move Pokemon. 
Let's see, box 13, wallpaper, scenery 3, there's the C4. Nah, that's not good enough. Wallpaper, etc. That's dumb. Scenery 2, here's volcano. Is there more hellfiery stuff? There's this desert. Uh, that looks kind of like a C4 too. I don't know. Uh, well, we could do sky. Maybe a crag. No, that's not it. Well, kind of. That's like Dimension World. Alright. We'll use that. All caps. Hell. Alright. Hell it is. Welcome to hell, Derpenstein. It's Derpenstein! Well, <laughs> that was sad, but... Could you really expect anything different? I'm glad we didn't lose King Swagger. Because that is, that is a possibility there. Alright, well we can catch a new Pokemon. And make up for it. Like, I got big toughness, yeah! It's like, you're insane. It's like, yes I know, that's literally my name. Kingdra! Ah, oh. Crapper Jacks. Uh, I guess I'm using the Luster Purge. It's like, what, Water Dragon? Kinda wish I let off with King Swagger. But he goes down anyway. Must have really bad special defense. Oh, oh, 300 experience. Oh. And then Blushy. Poor innocent little Blushy. Oh, I can't use Lick. Oh, man. Oh, well. We'll just stomp and flinch hacks. Don't get cocky. This isn't over yet. Or is it? I think it's over. Blissy, you flinch. So, two for flinching. Dang, if it wasn't for that Aqua Ring. Yeah, your Pokemon is low on HP. Uh, if it wasn't for Aqua Ring, we would have killed it. We still might, but uh, it could be iffy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we seem to be hitting the flinch chance like every time. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe it randomized the flinch chance. I, I feel like it must have, because we're near 100% on flinching. Which is crazy. Also, that's pretty good. You just lost! Wow, what do you mean I lost? Uh, you handedly lost. There was no sense of ambiguity there. Setokaiba Berry? Kebia Berry. I don't know. It's more fun if it's a uh, Kaiba Berry. Also, uh, I mean, that's good. If we get a Pokemon that's weak to that, it could actually be good in a randomizer. So you never know when someone's gonna be like, BAM! Poison Tag! This guy's like, I am God! I dictate my Pokemon, Krikatoon, and Zubat, even though it's a Paris and something else. Something unknown. Yeah, Gunk Shot should do the trick. Like, if it knows a bug type attack, I'm not worried, because I'm part flying. Yay! Get out of here. I'm tired of Pokemon Red version. Gibble! Oh. Oh, Gibble. Oh, Gibble. Oh, Gibble. Oh, you can charge for Sky Attack all you want. Oh, it's not gonna matter. 
Boom, Dragon Claw! And you're dead. More HP? Eh, a little bit. Huge defense, though. Dang, those are some good tanky stats. All right, well, let's let's catch another Pokemon so we can get get closer to having a full team here. It's a Finian. Um, maybe we'll use a bubble. I really don't want to kill it, but I want to weaken it. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Okay, Drain Punch. Oh, and a hole up. That's that's illegal. Can't do that. For that, you are sentenced to a Pokeball, where you will become my most loyal of minions, just like all my other most loyal minions. Oh, Fideon. Why you gotta do that to me? Why do you have to defy me? I mean, at least in 20 turns I can use Bubble again and not kill it, but I'd run out of Pokeballs by that point. Eh. Eh. Yes! There we go. And I got this. Got this nickname easily, also I need to stop doing that. It's a different it's a different program. Controls are maps differently. Perfect. Whoop! We're gonna fin to win, baby! So hopefully it evolves into something else with fins, or else that'll just be weird. All right. Well, I'm not. I'm not training against freaking Shelloses, That's for sure. But let's see what our fin to win has. Summary. Okay, a while to level up. Ugh. Ugh. That's not. That's not actually very good. That's a very slow level up curve. Does it off, but he's, he's modest. He just likes to take a nap. Got special attack, speed, early bird. So he sleeps a lot, but he's good at waking up pretty quickly. That's nice. Bad defense and special defense, though, and all it knows is drain punch. Powerful. But. Not as effective as it could be. But I know where we're going to train up Finn to win. So... We have that going for us, which is nice. Alright. Heal me. Heal Jesus. I hope to see you again. <laughs> hey! Maybe when you're off the clock... Uh, probably not. Do 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 dun dun. A shinx. How weirdly vanilla. Also, like, why not an explode? Sky uppercut. Oof. Well, glad that missed. I was hoping to run into the normal and or rock type Pokemon here. Not a freaking Shinx. I don't even get that much experience. And Fintawin needs a lot of it. Because he's lazy. There we go. This is what we're talking... Ugh. It does no Frenzy Plant, though. Could be bad, so hopefully we just kill it in one drain punch every time. I mean, considering it's 115 base power, we should be okay. Wild Explap, please. Thank you.
pinch a win. You gotta actually hit with your drain punch. If you would have hit the first time, you might have killed it in one hit. A lesson that you will hopefully take to heart. Now you're just wasting everyone's time. Endure again? Oh my god. Look, I splat. Yeah, stop fucking doing that, alright? That's pretty dumb. So, now you're dead. Give me your experience. I shall drain your power. For that is the gift I bestowed upon Finn to win. So, I thought I gave more experience than that. I guess not. Alright, a Loudred. As long as we hit, we'll be okay. Yeah. Toxic spikes. Eh, I mean, I would have rather had another attack, but toxic spikes are probably okay. Let's see. Yeah, actually... Toxic Spice doesn't have accuracy, because it just... Just lays down a trap, yeah. Alright, we're good, we're fine. It's got a drain po oh, crap. Water pulse. That could be bad. But we're cool. Alright. Frenzy Plant could seriously wreck us, though, so we have to be careful about that. Anything else? And we're probably okay. Alright, Finn to win. Party in the level up. Party with the training suck. What's up? Train, train the party and the levels. There we go. A Corsola. Corsola knows some crazy move, doesn't she? Ice Punch. Okay. I'm not worried about that. Because we have Drain Punch! Big level? Yeah, 64. That's not too bad, I guess. Alright, Finn to win. Okay, you're gonna have to do something with these drain punches, because you're almost out. Also, that Corsola with another crit ice punch. That's rough stuff. We have one drain punch remaining. Can we get a level up? before we have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Survey says probably not, because it's a level two course to learn. But we can get close enough. get Finn to win to, let's just say level 9. Just so he can sort of compete with some of the wild Pokemon trainers. The wild Pokemon trainers. They're not even civilized. They're just standing there forever. Waiting to battle you. It's pretty nuts though. All right, Corsola. Let's go. It's the rematch. Drain Punch. What's up? I can't even see that. Ugh. Ugh. The camera view is so narrow. 
Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, oh my god, yes. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, a good stretch. A good stretch is so nice. Like, you don't even know unless you have good stretches, and then... Like, but if you do, you know. Shinks. Get out of here! I want to fight Explouts! Hmm. Maybe it's technically evening now. And we're not finding Explouts. I mean, Eladred will do, too. One punch, one death. I mean, it is 85% accurate, so we're expected to miss a good amount, but still. One punch, one death. Finn to win. Do, 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 do. It's just so catchy, you can't help but want to sing along with a lot of the music. Just like, if they get, like, uh, the... I'm sure there's some live concert music somewhere of this soundtrack that I'm gonna have to find, because... Like, there's nothing wrong with the DS sound card. I think it all sounds fine, but if you want to listen to music like this, and you find, like, an orchestrated version of it, that'd be really good. Because if you want hashtag Pokemon remakes, these games, I, I would definitely do a remake of Diamond Pearl Platinum on the Switch. So you have better, like, you know, sound from the audio. It's nice and colorful. You know, it's probably getting to the point where it's really nostalgic for kids these days. Like, this was... Probably Diamond Pearl came out near the end of high school for me, so... The fact that it's been through college, and... So, if people are, like, in their 20s... Hey, Captain Chunk! Good to see you again. So, I'm trying to think, like, if it would be, like, cash-in on the like, college, post-college generation. Like, how old the people would be now, and, like, if it would be, like, their childhood. I'm thinking, it's like, they're probably people. Let's see if they're... Just about... Okay, if we simplify that, it's at least ten years ago. So I think... Yeah, I think people would buy the heck out of it. Because I'm sure for a lot of people, this generation is kind of their first. So how was your weekend? Do anything exciting? Do any good streaming? As you can see, we're just doing a little bit of power grinding. Our fin to win, our Finian, I guess got the legendary experience curve, so... He's going to take forever to level up, but it'll be worth it, just for the nickname alone. And also, when he does evolve, like, it's, uh, 32? I think Luminion evolves. So, yeah, it'll be a while, but he's got to evolve into something amazing. I'm thinking, you know, I want to be modest here, but I'm guessing, like, maybe a Deoxys. Probably. Two thousand seven, two thousand nine. So yeah, about ten years ago. Crowd control. Unless it's in the context of, like, a competitive game or a mobile game, then... No, I haven't. <laughs> Is that a new release on Steam? An indie game? Come on, fin to win. If you don't 
you don't punch him when he's not enduring, then you're not going to win, because you're going to run out of your only damaging move. An extension? Like a... like a browser extension? Or like a Pokemon extension? Alright. Pinto win, you have one Drain Punch, and you get one level up off of this, and we can continue on with our wonderful randomized lives. But you have to hit with this Drain Punch, buddy. I'm counting on you. Good. Good. Looks like we're not eating fish tonight. Oh! Oh, so it's a Twitch thing. <laughs> of course it would be compatible with Dark Souls. Gotta have that. Wow, I'll have to... That kind of sounds neat. I'll look into it, see... How screwed up things can get. I don't think I have the momentum to really take advantage of something like that to the fullest, but that's probably for the better. My blood pressure might go up a little too much if people are constantly messing with, say, like, a Nuzlocke run. Oh, so people can be generous as well. That's, that's nice of them. Yeah, if you want, like, a good video of it, or, you know, I was planning just to... Google search it and, you know, read what people have to say about it, too. And it tells us about power points. All right, Finta wins your first big boy trainer battle. And unless they send out, like, a ghost type or something, we should be able to manage this. Uh, Pineaco bug type. Wait. Bug. I can never remember if Bug resists fighting. I think it does, but then it's like, I'm not sure. Yeah, it does. Okay. I think it's, does fighting resist Bug? And that I don't know. Alright, I mean, I could push through and beat it up. Or I could switch out to coffee. Alright, well then, yeah, DM me the, the video and I'll get around to it. I that does sound kind of fun. Mmm. Mmm, licking pineco. So good. Gotta get those pine cones that are nice and sticky, too. And it's just like... Ah, ah, ah. Like, show the bugs who's the real person. It's your pine cone, so own it. Yeah, I think we're still fine. Fintowin can drain punch. All right, get a get a Pokemon that doesn't resist fighting moves, and Fintowin can take it out. A random teleport. Okay, that's a. Eh. Oh wait, no, Cradilly does not resist fighting. You're still weak to it because Grass doesn't resist fighting. Oh, Focus Punch. Oh no, you better hit. Okay, good. Good. And now we're at full HP, so. What? Rough skin. That's lame. Alright, another drain punch. Uh, meteor mash. Alright, well, I'm water, so I resist that. Ha ha! Nerd face. This always makes me nervous. Oh my god! It happened! It happened, the fucking focus punch, no! No! Oh! No! Why? Every fucking time it's a focus punch thing, and then you miss, and then you get killed by it. Cause randomizers are fucking garbage. F indeed. 
You must be purged! Humba Wumba will banish you to the Shadow Realm. Actually, even worse. She'll banish you to the Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts Realm. Nothing will ever be the same. You will never feel love or happiness ever again. That bone meringue? Bone meringue? That's kind of weird, but alright. I mean... And maybe we'll switch it out and make a kick for that. Oh, damn it. It's always the ones that take forever to level up, too. I mean, I had a, I knew that was going to happen. So, it's like maybe I should have switched out, but, or healed up or something. But at the same time, like, there was a chance Focus Punch could have had really bad attack power. It could have had really bad accuracy, so there's just too many unknowns that I took a chance on. Because, yeah, in my Fire Red Seed, Focus Punch had, like, you know, 35 attack power or something. Also, Luxray. Oh, you're level 4. Let's give you the Bone Meringue! We summon undead bones from the earth to rise up and pummel you. Because Humba Wumba is a shaman. And it's very scary. Porygon 2? Oh, but I wanted Porygon 1! Lame! Oh yeah, that's right. I can't use Lick. Stomp will have to do. The super high flinch rate. Ah. Now come on. That's just disrespectful. Leaf blade me. Alright, well let's get to Orborg so we can... Orberg or whatever it's called. So we can throw away... So we can flush our fish Pokemon down the toilet. Because it got Focus Punch, because it couldn't hit Drain Punch. So... He kind of did it to himself. But, no, all things considered, I did press my luck a little bit. Yeah, because in the last randomizer I did, I had a Kingler that just evolved, and... I was fighting a Machoke with Focus Punch or something. Missed with the Aqua Tail, and got crit hit by the Focus Punch and died. So it's like, my water types keep dying to missing attacks and then getting hit by Focus Punch. It's ridiculous. Finish so soon. Whatever. Oh, I guess it is getting kind of evening out. So I guess we will see a mix of day and night here. And I wanted to check to see if there was an item. Madeline. Mm. You're in for you're in for trouble. And make it bubble! Haha! <laughs> 100 base power bubble attack! Bubble is OP. The strongest move in the game. Well, at least our three living Pokemon are getting pretty strong. That's good. I can't believe we lost two Pokemon. We lost our Slowpoke to a Dragon Rage Shellos. So we didn't stand a chance there. Super Repel. Very nice. There's something over here, too. I want that item. Aww, it's a cool fairy. But we caught our dead Finian here, so we can't do it. Sad! So we must purge it. You get to go to the Shadow Realm, Clefairy. You haven't wronged me. You just need to die, so... You can say hi to all of Yugi's enemies. And all of the dual monsters. And the Yellow Shard. 
don't think that's going to be enough to get us a move tutor move, but hey. What can you do? More Clefairies. Oh, we might get a shiny Clefairy. Then we could catch one. That would be amazing. But until then, if you're not shiny, then you get purged. Now it's gonna be like, wait a minute, didn't Finian have no guard? But no, that was the Slowpoke that died that had no guard. Finian had uh, something else. Yeah, what did you have? Early bird, that's right. All right, well, to the gate. Oh, um, sure. Thanks for. It rock smash, but can't use it yet. Cool. Cool. Alright. Mm. Let's catch a new Pokemon first. See what we got. Give us something good at the gate. A Kingdra. Okay. That is something interesting. Do we have anything that will weaken it without killing it? Um, I guess maybe we should just use coffee. I think it has pretty bad special defense. Uh oh. Oh, okay. It's like metronome, that's never good. A stabbed bubble beam. Uh, excellent. Eh, it's not too bad. So either Bubble Beam sucks or Kingdra sucks. I wish it would stop using it though. I go back to Metronome, friend. A crit will be scary, but I don't think it'll be ending. Hmm, a Kingdra that also does not evolve. So what should our Kingdra nickname be? We already have King Swagger. The Great Mighty Dragon. We can't call it Sea King because that's an actual Pokemon. Yeah, Kingdra's a hard one to think of a nickname for. Let's see. Doubt I'm spelling this right. This. Vicious? That doesn't seem right. Oh, let me let me be a nerd and Google how to spell curly. B I C I O U S V I C I O U S. Ah, so that is correct. We have spelled it correctly. All right. Boom. What do you got, vicious? Immunity. Okay. That's a, that's a decent ability, I guess. Yeah, good attack, defense, bad special attack, special defense. Metronome. Oh, wow. 55 base power self-destruct on a Nuzlocke run. Super duper. Also, I'm surprised it didn't do that when I was trying to catch it. Bubble Beam. Dang. Bubble Beam super strong. All of the bubble attacks were swole. But unfortunately, seven special attacks, so. That's not good. We need to delete self-destruct as soon as possible. Alright, I kind of want to train it. But if we get stuck... Well, we have a few potions. I don't want to use all my potions, though. But... Oh, Pokeballs raining from the sky. Ooh, an Entei. 
Well. Oh no. Entei has Shadow Tag. Darn it, this was exactly what I didn't want to happen, game. Like, you had one job of having things not... The game, it was too generous at first, and it realized its mistake, and now it's making me suffer for it. Brick break. Yeah, this is not too strong. Maybe Boopoo Beep? Maybe Boopoo Beep? Oh boy, this is gonna be a secret power. Oh crap. Well, eh, eh. that's 10 damage. Alright, well. Gonna use a potion again. Ugh. Secret power goes down to 19. Yeah, so if it crits, we're dead. But I can't keep using potions, I have to attack. And we are faster, so. Oh my god, stop using that! I am going to use another potion here, just because I don't think I'm going to kill it in another bubble beam. And it sucks, because I don't want to use all my potions, but i got to keep Vicious alive, because we've been shadow tagged by Entei, the legendary dog that seems to be pretty popular in this region. And Osiris520... 52560 oh, number number string got yeah, me confused just decided to pledge their soul to the empire thank you for supporting the empire for the glory of demon kind also we didn't need to use that potion because yeah at least we're gonna get probably two levels off of this so it's an unfortunate situation we really need something like waterfall or any sort of physical attack here. Oh, I'll get him all right. Don't worry about that. Anarif. So that's a bug rock. Let's see. Offensively speaking... You know... We're gonna stick with Vicious. We're gonna use Bubble Beam. And we're gonna keep going here. Because we could switch to Humba Wumba and use Bubble. Oh, Stealth Rock. <laughs> Stealth Rock? What is this competitive Smogon Pokemon? Gotta use top tier OP Pokemon. Indeed. Glory, just like the battle that Vicious had. Couple of potions, but. Ooh, lots of HP. How? Oh, that's not a good move. But it's better than self-destruct, so I'm going to delete it. Delete that self-destruct. Delete yourself. All right. Oh, cool. My, my Streamlabs stuff updated. That's fun. Glad to see that that's working. All right, and we got some levels for Vicious. Do we risk it again? Yeah, because... Because what are the odds that we're going to face another Entei? That would make three legendaries at the beginning of the game. That'd be crazy. Against this picnicker. Diana with a Zigzagoon. Uh-oh. That could be wild. We will use one at... If I use Metronome, it's going to be Explosion. <laughs> yeah, Rotom's interesting. Uh, is is Rotom Wash one of the OP Pokemon? Oh, Seismic Toss, I'm not worried about that. Or, like, what's what's the tiers of the Rotom forms? Because I think... Dive? Well, that's not going to do any damage, so... I'm just gonna... I think that's physical? So I'm just gonna withdraw. Boom! You just got outplayed, Zigzagoon. Think <laughs> one damage. Yeah, let's see. I think in one of my teams back in college, I was into competitive Pokemon with my friends. 
We didn't really care for the tier list. We just like, you know, using our favorite Pokemon. But I use, I think, just regular Rotom. Like, un unmorphed. And that was the best Mot Mo Rotom. Moton? I don't even know what I'm saying. The City of Energy! Because it's coal. So soon to be the City of No Energy. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Huh? It's that insane person. You know what? Eh, I guess I'll talk to you. He is gym leaders away! Oh no! It's like you could look for him. Yeah, Levitate's pretty sweet. I needed a safe switch in against ground type moves, and that was pretty much that was pretty much it. Interesting. Is that still the case in like the newer games? Because I know that that was that was a thing in the older games. Oh, also, we need to put Finn to win to hell because he died to a focus punch. Ah. Also, Retro Kid just followed and pledged their soul for the greater glory of Demon Kind. This has been pretty glorious today. We have some good starters, some good mons, and then we also have some dead pieces of garbage. Alright, time to flush Finian down the toilet. There we go. It's just what you do. He would have wanted it that way. So, if Rotom's super good, then what's the what's the hard counter to Rotom? Like, if if someone's messing you up with Rotom Wash, what do you put on your team to take care of it? Ooh, an Earth Plate. Okay. I don't know if there's anyone we want to give that to. And, uh, Womp Melberry. That's probably garbage, but it might have a... Yeah, Poffin ingredient. Trash! Poffins in my Pokemon! Alright, there's probably something in here. Oh, so... Torterra? Let's see. I can't think of any other... Which which Pokemon is that? I can't... I mean, I haven't played... Like, I played a little bit of Pokemon X and Y, but it was just way too easy, so I kind of got bored of it and stopped. But, so what Pokemon would fit the bill? Also, new Pokemon for a team? And it's a Duskull? I like that. All right. All right, Vicious, your weak sauce bubble beam is actually really good for this situation. Perfect. Uh, it's not gonna run away, is it? No, it doesn't. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Let's get ourselves a little dust skull. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. So, does anyone, like, generally use a Pokemon that's kind of like a counter to it? Or is it just like, well, hopefully you can... Ooh, five hits for the Pin Missile. That's... that's pretty saucy. Hmm... Oof. I mean, I guess you can... Okay, I was like, does Duskull have Skill Link? We need more Pokeballs, too. We're running out. Uh... hey -o! Also, crap, we should... I should go and buy some more potions. Okay. 
<laughs> it loves crying children. It startles kids. Wow. What a dick, but also, I can respect that. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about Dead Eye. See, Zygarde, Zygarde, Zygarde. I think I know who that one is. That's like the little, like, larva legendary that evolves into, like, a super swole thing. Right? Because I think I had a Zygarde Pokemon sticker in Smash Ultimate that was, like, super good. Hmm. Alright. Let's check out Deadeye! I think that's a level 30 evolution as well, so we have a ways to go, but the experience curve seems to be pretty decent. Jolly. Likes to relax after a night of scaring children. Hilarious. Pretty much the same as Vicious here, stat-wise. Maybe not quite as dramatic, but that's Vital Spirit, so that's good. And then U-turn and pin missile. Oof. Ten base power. That that's kinda bad. But perfect accuracy. And then U-turn, which is about as strong as it normally is. Both physical attacks, which is fine. I don't know if there are any psychic or dark types to train against right now. Yeah, sorry about that. The has some weird filters on the chat thing. They're just like, we're blocking this word, and it's like, nah, it's okay. It's okay, Twitch. We're we're fine. <laughs> Alright, well I'll heal up. Might as well. Hmm. Yeah, I've had a chance to just hacking a bunch of rare candies to skip the skip the grind, so. We're gonna have to do the old switch in, switch out. Let's see. Uh, clearly, I'm a beauty. I am so beautiful and pretty. And people cannot resist my allure. Hmm, let's see. Deadeye, Vicious. Both of you need training before the gym battle. But, if we run into another trainer with an Entei, then we are... We are in trouble. Also, there's gonna be a lot of wild pokes, but... Oh, we could've had a Porygon. Well, that's fine. It's RNG to determine whether or not we even find the thing. Oh, I was gonna buy potions. Looks like I have the case of the Mondays. Alright, bring out the coffee. I'm actually out of my own coffee. I could go and get some more, but... Power Whip! Oh, that is just hacks. That There's no way you could have known that I was switching out to a rock type. And vacuum... Okay. Okay, I've had enough of you. Oh my god, now I'm at half health. Well, at least Porygon's worth a lot of a lot of experience. And we learned cop copycat that copies the ability? Or copies the the last move. The user mimics the move used immediately before it. It fails if no moves have been used yet. Um not crazy about that. More Porygons, though, so you know what? I'm on to you, Porygon. I know exactly what's going on. And I 
will counter it no matter what you do. With the great shaman powers of Humba Wumba. Yeah, vacuum wave a psychic bird. It's not going to go well. Okay, so you're stubborn, but now you're dead. Purged to the Shadow Realm. Okay, 65 apiece. Yeah, not too bad for a wild poke. We like Machop. Wait a minute, I want to go the other way around because there's an item over there, I think. To the left. Also, Porygon. Oh, I could just do this. U-turn! And if it doesn't kill it, now we can switch to... Humba Wumba. I guess we should switch to Swagger as well. Wait a minute, what's that do? Sleep! Oh, I should have kept him out. He's immune to sleep. Alright, well, you'll still be purged. Eventually. Stop with the whip. You shouldn't be whipping someone when they're asleep. You can't get their consent when they're unconscious. So you need to stop that, Porygon. Stupid grass whistle! I forgot that was even a move. Ridiculous. Well, we have the TM for Spore, so if we want to cheat, we could do that as well. Yay, Deadeye leveled up. Deadeye doesn't have very good stats compared to the rest of our team, but the rest of our team might be kind of broken at this point, so that's good. There's an item there. So, um... Okay, all y'all Porygons need to chill the F out, okay? It's like, so what I'm going to do is you better use Vacuum Wave, because I'm going to use Pin Missile. And hopefully kill you eventually. Power Whip. Of course you're not using Vacuum Wave, because you're a lame -o. Whatever, I'm just going to U-turn. Yeah, it doesn't have enough power to kill it. Watch, here comes the grass whistle. No? Okay, good. Good. And... It's just gunk shot. Yeah, vacuum wave all you want, punk. Now you're full of gunk. And it's gross, full of bird spit up. But, that's what you get. Is there something maybe right here on the ground? No. No? Nope. Oh, I guess maybe not. Guess there was nothing. Well, I think we do have to go around this far anyway, so we might as well loop around. Come on. Just U-turn. Aha! Vacuum wave, nerd! Oh, but I'm using U-turn. Maybe a crit U-turn? Ah, I wanted to matter. What can you do? When the shaman comes for you. Let's try Boomerang out. It's not super accurate, but we're not really under any threat either, so. It took one hit. One hit calling upon the bones of the dead. To rise from the grave and smack Pokemon. She takes her shaman duties very seriously. Ooh, a PP up. Don't know what move we'll use it on, but... I'm sure there's one worth it. Worker Colin with your Mothim. With a Mothim, hmm? Oh, uh, we should probably U-turn. But I have no idea what that Mothim's gonna do. And we don't have any Rock-type attacks, or any Fire-type attacks, or anything like that, so... 
I guess we'll bring out King Swagger to tackle. Lol. Did one damage. And we're gonna Dragon Claw. Oh, it survived. Dang. It's pretty beefy. Uh, Signal Beam? Why not? Deal one HP worth of damage there. Ooh. Gotta level up for Deadeye. Always good. Cleffa. Yeah, we'll switch back. Unless Cleffa is, like, super OP, we should be fine. We'll test the waters with one pin missile. Oh, Cleffa, please die. That'd be funny if it used Explosion or something. Ooh, four hits. Good. Avalanche! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's really not good. And Snatch? Oh, psh. We're gonna GTFO. Screw you, Cleffa. Yeah, Avalanche doubles in power if you attack second. It's like, yipes. Fortunately, Vicious can take it out, and hopefully we get a double level up. Though probably not, because Cleffa sucks for experience. Oh, we got one level up off of it. Oh, Vicious, once you learn a physical attack, you'll be wonderful. Maybe like Dragon Claw or something. Waterfall. That'd be great. Be super duper. Alright. I think we'll be good with Deadeye, because we'll just switch out right away. Maybe not even risk the U-turns. Poliwhirl. Well, that's kind of strange. Yeah, as long as it doesn't have a trapping ability, then we're good. Hooray! Iron Head! Boom! Resisted! You are a fool, sir! Oh, crap. Um... Yeah, Bubble Beam's not gonna do much. Let's see how much it does do. This was a... This was a not very well thought out choice. Oh, God damn, that's a lot. All right, one metronome. We're gonna do one metronome and hopefully not immediately get wrecked by it. Maybe payday. Oh sweet, we get some money. And we kill the, almost kill the Poliwhirl. Okay. That was, uh, that was risky, risky click, but it ended up not screwing us over, which is whew, pretty nice. And did I learn barrier? Huh. Wait a minute. Oh, that's, that's actually not good. I mean, it's not bad, but... Probably use it more than copycat, to be honest. I was hoping it was actually reflect, and then we would just reflect and then U-turn to give the team a big buff. Like, okay, cool, cool story, bro. We get ya. Like, come to the gym. Mm, choice scarf. Oh. Wow, we're getting a lot of competitive items right away. Um... You have black glasses. Yeah, I don't think there are any Pokemon we want to give a choice scarf to right now. Everything's too random, but not down. Now this guy. Sneaking in non-sanctioned Pokemon into the workplace. You, sir, and your Cresselia are workplace violations? Also, I wish I wish he was healed because we might be able to do some damage against her. But... 
we can't. And we're not, I'm not gonna risk the speed here. I'm not gonna risk a U-turn, because we don't know. Are you gonna use a Skull Bash? All right, well, your defense can raise all you want. But you'll never, you'll never outrun the power of Bubble! We'll see how strong you are physically, though. <laughs> Lol! Okay. Yeah, not nothing to worry about. Close combat. That's fine. Lol! Oh, dang! Yeah, did I could have wrecked this Cresselia. Go back to the Smash Bros. stage. It's a good stage. Get out of my game. I am something. Also, why do you have a Cresselia? Are you secretly like a Sailor Scout in the Pokemon world? You just have to have Cresselias? Hmm. Oh, it knows a steel. I think it knows a water technique, so I guess we go Humble Wumba. Good old reliable shaman. Silver wind. Eh, that's neutral. Now be purged! Away with you to the Shadow Realm! Ooh, critical hit, too. Ugh. And Dead Eyes are getting some good experience, I think. Wow, surpassed Vicious. But that's fine. We are hoping Dead Eye will learn some sort of attack. Voltorb, alright. Um. We're gonna switch to King Swagger! So what if I Swagger? Of the Shadow Claw. Ah, see? The game was expecting we'd switch into Humba Wumba and then be a super effective Shadow Claw. But we're too smart for that. The game's like, do this thing, I know you're going to do it, and I'm like, haha, actually I've done the other thing, and they're like, <gasps> no! This was not expected! How could you do that thing? Where did the source of your power come from? Aw, it's a Squirtle. It's a little Squirtle Turtle. <laughs> Slow start. Alright, well I'm gonna U-turn. It's a very, you know, that's extremely appropriate for a Squirtle to have slow start. It's just a slow little turtle. Taunt. Like, come at me, bro. It's like, alright. <laughs> You've asked for it. Enjoy the Shadow Realm. So we're gonna go heal up. can go to the gym now. Yay! Or we could catch another Pokemon. But I'm thinking we'll just, we'll at least peek inside the gym. See if we have time for the gym leader. I think we might. Things will go pretty quickly. Assuming no shenanigans. Assuming no Entei shenanigans. All right, Vicious. You're up. Dun, dun, dun. It's like we could use 3D to get around these trainers, but we need the training. Just gotta do it. It's like I'm not taking the long way around to avoid you. I only do that for people in real life. Ammo swine. Oh, okay. Well, prepare to face the awesome power of Bubble Beam. Oh, wait. What attack was that? 
a scroll too fast, but it missed. Hopefully it wasn't something like, you know, oh, we're gonna use Fisher. Okay, pounds, okay. Okay, okay. Okay! I'm fine with that. We should get big experience next turn. Sing? Okay, missed with the sing. That's excellent. One might even say, most excellent. All right, vicious. Oh, that's so much experience. Oh, delicious experience. Mm. Kind of makes me hungry. But actually, what's making me hungry is probably because I had a light lunch. Well, late, kind of. It was a full meal, but... You know, when your body's used to eating garbage junk food and then you actually have healthy food, it's like less calories, so it seems... You just get a little bit hungrier, but that's eh, alright. I'll spoil myself for dinner. And there's a Graveler. Hmm. Oh dear Graveler, be sure that you're careful, for if you're not, you might succumb to the power of Bubble Beam! Four times damage, so that's essentially 400 base power Bubble Beam. Yeah, you heard that right. It's insane. Oh, Randomizer, you're so much fun, even if you are crazy and unpredictable. Bind! That's a physical move! Heck yeah, we'll forget something! Also, what's the stat? 75 base power, 100% accuracy? Yes. Screw you, Metronome! Temptation, be gone! For I will not... <laughs> I will not metronome into a freaking self-destruct. The number one unexpected killer of Nuzlocke's everywhere. Oh, so Ammonite, what could we do? Well, I mean, we could send out Deadeye, I guess. Well, Deadeye, and then if things get really bad, we'll, like, you turn out. We should be faster than this. Duke, duke, duke. And if we hit five times, we'll be in a pretty good spot to just kill it. Alright, Deadeye. Hit him five. Worry Seed. Our ability is Insomnia. I mean, that's... That literally did nothing. Because our ability was Vital Spirit. And they're the same ability. So, uh... Yeah, okay, thanks. Though, Ammonite did give him the gift of anxiety. Eesh. Spatial Rend! Oh, crap! Oh, that's actually... considerably powerful. We would have died if that was a crit. Okay. Okay. Okay, maybe... Maybe we're a little more careful around, around these guys. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're gonna heal up. And then... Oh, item in here? Item? No? Okay. Is there an item in those rocks? No, we can't get there. We're gonna heal up, and then we're gonna take on the gym leader. Because why wouldn't we? That's the whole point of the game. You gotta take on the gym leaders. Oh, we hope your Pokemon get the crap be out of them so you'll come back to the Pokemon Center. It's terrible. Well, we'll lead off with our starter. It's probably a bad idea. But, you know, it's the gym battle, so we have to lead off with something. Something, someone. Alright, here we go. A little bit nervous. Roarark. Yeah, that's his name. And then his dad's the Steel Gym Leader. Three Pokemon. He's like, Shh. And it's a Nuzleaf. It's the mascot of this challenge. And also... 
Wait, he's part dark type. That was dumb. That was dumb. I feel dumb. He has lock on. That's fine, because whatever he's gonna do, he's gonna flinch. Oof. Oof. Okay. That wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. But also, jump kick, really? Yeah, you're getting stomped. Gonna get stomped and then... Flinch! Yes! And then stomp! Okay. We managed to, to survive that pretty well. Coffee gets the level up. Mmm, yes! Look at those stats. Those are some good juicy stats. I love it. Zaytu! Why, this is a job for... Humba Wumba. Zaytu v Zaytu. The battle of the century. For two enemy tribes, can they put their differences aside and become friends? The answer is... No. One must die. And hopefully it's the other one. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So yeah, better defense than special defense. So I should wreck it with the power of bubble! Fear the bubbles. Ooh, a crit bubble. Oh, I see. You're copying me now? Is that it? Well, in that case, Luster Per... Oh, crap. He has more potions. I thought he only had one. What kind of gym leader has more than one potion? That's probably cheating. Ooh. We got the special defense hacks, though. That's pretty nice. You were handedly defeated in a shaman battle of magic. We gain your power and add it to our own. Humba Wumba. There we go. Artillery. Um, it's like, I don't want Humba Wumba to do everything, but she's also the one with the best movesets. I'm gonna go King Swagger, because King Swagger is tanky. And so what if he swaggers? Can you dig down the Pokemon like you did? Or, I mean, yeah, that's kind of the point. Secret power. And it missed. Okay, secret power is nothing to write home about. We have our... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. And then it has a stat-up move. That is... Uh, that could get really bad really quickly. Let's see if Signal Beam will do more damage to it. Okay, that's still not too bad. Oh, we got the Confuse Hacks. But, uh... This is tough. Secret power, darn it. It seems to just be a very tanky artillery. Okay, so if he hits his health in Confusion, then we win this. Come on. Come on! Come on! Well, he missed with secret power. I suppose that's, you know, good enough. Oh, are you gonna kill yourself? Kill yourself! Actually, don't take that out of context. I'm talking to the Pokemon game. Alright? Don't... Don't... Don't do bad things with that voice clip. Does... No... Nope. Nope. <laughs> Eh, who am I kidding? If someone can farm karma to take it out of context, they will. It's all about getting that karma reddit. Karma reddit? What? Brain? It's Monday, can you tell? Reddit karma. Put words in the correct order, please. Ooh, a new TM, what could it be? It is not Stealth Rock. You stupid liar. Why do you lie? You lying lie face of lyingness. All you do is lie. Okay. Captivate? Eh. 75% accuracy. Okay, that's trash. That's a trash TM. It's like, it was gonna be, like, alright, like... You know, tier list, it would have been maybe a, like, a, a C tier or something. 
like has a use, but nah, we just we just drag and drop that down to F tier. For F and useless. Alright, well hey, first gym battle! Woo! No one died because they all died before the gym battle and not after or during. Well, some will probably die after. Though, my super amazing awesome skill, you know, they might not die. And all of our Pokemon could live, but it's also the freaking randomizer. So, things are going to die. You remind me of when I got my first Pokemon. Is anyone going to give me stuff? Hey, this is an RPG. Give me items for talking to you. Thank you. Thank you, this kid gets it. This kid. He's something else. Dun, 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 dun. Orberg City. Where all the movers and the shakers come across is this Unova? What region is this? I I don't I forget. It's the Mining Museum. Oh, that's where you extract fossils. Gotcha. And unlike the crappy museum in Pokemon Red and Blue, this one is free! Yay! Free education! Knowledge is power! Alright. Pokemon is friendship, it's important, they're gonna be your friends because you don't have any in real life, so you can enslave creatures to do so instead. Uh, why am I going back here? Because I'm dumb. Alright. Well, I really want Deadeye to learn a decent move so he can fight on his own, but as weak as he is right now, it's perfect for going, oh, I wanted to go to the Poke Mart. Yeah, let's go shopping with the shopping music that I love in this game. Ah, it's so good. I love this shop music. Top 10 shop musics in video game Pokemon Platinum. That's one of them. I don't know. If people would watch a video, I'd make a top 10 shot music, but... Eh. Eh. You know. Just eh. Alright, I guess this is the part, in the, game, part of the game where we start to stock up on some healing items. Get our medicine cabinet all nice and filled out. We'll do a burn and an ice. We're not gonna get repels, because just one repel isn't gonna do us any good. We got the Pokeballs. And then, what do you want, chump? Oh, crap! There's the special Pokeballs. A heal ball. That'd be nice. Heals for feels, or feels for heals, or whatever. It is kind of weird, though. Like, obviously, for the gameplay, it's really nice where you can go to any shop and based on how many badges you have, you can buy better items. Trade an Alexam for a Parasect? No thanks. But think about it, like, in-universe. It's like, you can't buy, you know... Double stuffed Oreos until until you've beaten three gym badges, stuff like that. Like, how crazy would that be in some sort of weird like? I mean, I guess I guess it's not that far removed from what's going on in China right now with their citizenship score or whatever they call it. It's like if you're not good enough, you can't do these things. It's like, uh, what? I guess Pokemon is kind of dystopian like that. And you know what? 
What? Maybe all of these criminal teams that you're stopping in all of these games? Ooh, thank you, lady. Maybe they're actually the good guys. Maybe you're the villain. Because they're trying to... They're trying to right a wrong. A fundamental... Wrong in society. And then you just show up in pursuit of, like... The becoming a Pokemon master that you grow up going to school learning that that's the most important thing you can do with your life and in pursuit of that you tear down these these rebels that are trying to overthrow a deeply ingrained, ingrained yet super corrupt system all for what? so you can get a gym badge so you can buy super potions at the Pokemon Mart? Why can't anyone buy super potions? Like, that's pretty messed up. Messed up pokey dystopia. Okay, it just tells us you need a bike. Eh, there's the item, okay. Like, is there an actual item or is it just Infernape? Uh, okay, I guess. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, though. It's gonna be, it's gonna take a while to get them down to catchable range, but... Taunt, alright. Bring it on! Will do. Because yeah, I don't know of any other attack that is... We'll do, like, kind of weaken him a little bit. Besides just using minimum damage pin missiles for a bit. Cotton Spore, a greatly lower speed, I think. Alright. Does Infernape actually have an actual attack? Or is it just Cotton Spore and Taunt? Find out soon on twitch.tv slash the Overlord Empire. Uh, probably... Ooh! Is that a 5 hit? Yeah, that is. Focus but Ooh! Now that could be saucy. A special physical type attack... Er... Special fighting type attack. That's usually super strong but with low accuracy. In this case... So we might risk fainting it if we use Pin Missile again. It's too random to tell. So I'm thinking we just catch our Infernape. With one of our new Pokeballs. Actually, we should just use the Premier Ball. If he breaks out, we'll use a Premier Ball. Just because we can. Yeah, I'm curious to see if Focus Blast has been improved. And I'm gonna risk the pin missile one more time. Let's weaken it just a little bit more. Two. Almost in the red, darn it. Alright, well, this should be fine. Premier Ball! Go! What a... No? Well, now we're really in trouble. We can't catch it. Uh, use more Pokeballs. We'll do it. And I don't know if Dusk Ball activates yet. Because it's like afternoon, but it's not like night. So I don't know if we get the bonus from it. But it's okay, because we caught the Infernape. Alright, if anyone has a, a nickname suggestion to throw out there, feel free to do so. Otherwise, I'll think of one myself. It's only 3 feet 11? Huh. I thought it was, like, person-sized. So it's a, a tiny Infernape. Yeah, thanks for popping in, Captain. 
And I hope to see you around. Have a good night. Get some good sleep. Good quality sleep. That's not what I'm going for. I'm going for this. Little Fury, because he's a lot shorter than I thought he would be for an Infernape. <gasps> and he has an offering to the Overlord. What could it be? Taking it. A Shoal Salt? The heck? I think that's kind of an important item for some reason. But... Uh, no, it's just... Yeah, it's extremely salty. Uh, I could go for some... I could go for a heaping pile of salt right now. Better than that Pesho Berry. The frickin' garbage berries. Alright. Little Fury. What do we have here? Okay, so pretty fast to level up. I really like that. That's super nice. Capable of taking hits and is pretty calm. Alright. Has Sand Veil. Weird ability, but might come in handy. Okay, good special attack, which is good because we have Focus Blast. So, uh, more offensive oriented Pokemon. Good to know. Oh! Five power point wing attack, what? Oh! Oh god, no! Oh my god, this is... Oh! 50% accuracy for Focus Blast. Oh! Ew! No! That's bad. That's really bad. I, I don't like that. So, and Wing Attack. Alright, somehow he has wings. He must, like, down a can of Red Bull before he, like, hits him in the face. So, looks like we'll be relying on Wing Attack for right now. Which, you know, isn't too... That's not too bad. It's not his highest stat, but it's, the difference isn't too big. So, yeah, okay. Okay. Little Fury, and that's our team of six. Look at that. We somehow made it past the first gym, and we have a team of six Mons ready to go. Little Fury will level up a little bit, and probably tomorrow I will... Ah, oh, it's an Ivysaur. Ah, oh, that's fine. I don't mind missing on the, the Bulbasaur thing. I feel like every time I do a Nuzlocke, I end up getting, like, a Bulbasaur at some stage, so... Hmm. If you weren't at 5 HP, I'd just use Wing Attack, but he's at 5 HP, so I'm not gonna use Wing Attack. King Swagger. Let's go. Snatch. Roar of time! What? Damn! That's a crazy Ivysaur. It's a grass dragon type at that point. Yeesh. He can tear space and time apart. That's pretty hilarious, though. And it also must not be very strong. Alright, 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 alright! So, that's about 6 o'clock, so, and I think that's a good place to stop. We're definitely going to, you know, get all of our mons up to speed and then continue wherever we need to continue off to. Uh, I think we just go back to the left for a while until we rock smash our way into some new place. So that'll be a lot of fun. So thanks everyone for coming out and joining me. The Overlord, the head and sole owner of the Overlord Empire. It's a great empire. The best empire. Better than that star thing empire, that's for sure. And, yeah. If you liked what you saw and haven't followed already, go ahead. As you can see, we have our little follow meter uh, right down here. 
and hopefully it's just like, hey, can I get to 50 followers? That'd be sweet if I can. If not, you know, whatever. Uh, tomorrow is 2 o'clock Tuesdays. I'm busy on Tuesdays, so I start at 2 and go until 5. So if you want to catch me at the beginning of that, just to let you know. And as always, be sure to get the word out about this amazing, growing, overlord empire, best empire, fight me bro, for the glory of demon kind. Have a happy Monday.